What is going on everyone? It's Scott back from CryptoCroc. Today we're going to be talking about Unibright, UBT. Now Unibright is currently up on the day, currently trading around, at around 19 cents, but it's actually ha, took, a, took a little bit of a dip um, near the beginning of the day, um, all the way down to around 18 cents, which isn't too much of a dip. Um, the main reason that I want to talk to you guys about Unibright is due to the market cap. So of all the, the recent uh, altcoins that have come out in the past week, Unibrow is actually one of the highest market caps. So there is definitely some traction going on and it's already at a rank 334 or 343. Um, only trading on IDEX right now against the ETH pair. Um, so hopefully more exchange pick, picks this up. Um, but let's jump over to their website and let's see what they're all about. So what is Unibright? Unibright is a unified framework for blockchain-based business integration. So what does that mean? Their goal is to help integrate your existing IT systems into the blockchain to make it, um, you know, to allow for the blockchain to be integrated into your existing company without having to spend thousands and thousands of dollars and hire expensive staff and hire ex expensive contractors that know blockchain, they're going to make it as easy as possible for you to integrate into blockchain and utilize all the benefits that come along with it. So essentially they have purpose-built templates that you can utilize to, um, if you don't know any code, you could basically develop a workflow and then that workflow will then generate the code and then you use that code to um, for your existing systems so that they can be they can talk to the blockchain and whatnot. So essentially um, a lot of people have been interested in this product. We're seeing tons and tons of names and the cool thing about Unibright is they're actually already a, a big player in the space. Um, they are a company that's been around since 1998 and they they work with you know all these massive companies lustanza samsung unilever siemens nestle so it's not necessarily fair to say that they have officially launched and these companies have um always been their clients um, but basically they've adapted to the point where they already did other integrations and now they've moved into the blockchain ecosystem and their goal now is to help um, integrate existing companies into the blockchain. They're a German company. They've been around for, for 20 plus years worth of experience um, and they already have existing customers. So like I said, essentially Unibright is a place where you can go, you can down, you can go onto their website, you can get code generated based on your current workflow and you can allow for your apps to talk to the blockchain. And one of the examples that they give is SAP. A lot of the Fortune 100 companies use SAP for everything, you know, their accounting, ERP, CRM. Um, and basically these companies invest millions and millions of dollars yearly all around the globe and they've got their own integrations into the platform and they don't want to rewrite everything. So what do they do? They're looking for solutions like Unibright to help utilize SAP and help basically put in a middleware program such that it can talk to the blockchain. And they've actually got this little video here and um, I'm not going to play the video, but what I'm going to show you guys here is this is the UniFlow designer. So it's sim it's it's a simple designer. Um, you know, basically you can just pick and drag uh, transactions, smart contracts, messaging, different layers to your to your blockchain uh, algorithm, and then you can have them all talk to each other without really knowing any code. So it's really really cool, really simple. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know if the actual platform is live yet, but the, the guy that was putting on the demo, it seemed like it was a pretty um, pretty straightforward and it seemed like it was pretty ready to go uh, for the world. 
So essentially, they want, they're talking about why do we do this? So why, why is Unibrain around? What are they trying to accomplish? Here are the various problems. Blockchain developers are rare and they're expensive, right? We already talked about that. So that's why they have this Unibright visual workflow designer. That's that drag and drop designer. You can just um, build out your powerful blockchain solutions without needing to know code. And it's very difficult to update and deploy smart contracts to different blockchains. So they've also got another uh, solution called the Unibright contract lifecycle manager and it allows for transformation visually designed workflows into platform dependent code at a push of a button and essentially it automatically updates your smart smart contracts that are already existing in place and the third problem is companies don't understand how to parse the data from blockchain into something that's usable for their end users and that's why they've got the unibright explorer which essentially monitors ongoing business processes across all smart contracts and related systems. And it helps to present on and off chain data to a useful and easy to understand dashboard. So that's a big mouthful. Essentially what it's gonna do is it's a data analytics program. It's gonna summarize all your data and it's gonna basically put it into an easy to use, easy to view platform so that you can utilize that data and um, use it to the best of your knowledge Use it in, in certain situations where you think it can make um, your business more efficient, more productive, whatever the case is, that is the Unibyte Explorer. And finally, teams need to integrate blockchain into their existing IT systems. So as I said, it's extremely hard to do so. You need to have the skill set and the knowledge. And they've come up with what's called the Unibrite Connector, which essentially, um, think about it as a middleware program where you attach it into your existing smart, con uh, your existing um, applications like SAP, for example, and then it can talk to the blockchain ecosystem. So obviously there's a lot to Unibright. They have so many different use cases that are uh, practical for them from asset management, shipping processes, invoicing, um, you know, and, uh, essentially they're trying to accomplish a lot because they're building the framework. So other applications could actually potentially utilize Unibright um, and build off of it. So I like, I really like blockchain companies and cryptocurrency companies that are looking to build the groundwork. They're looking to build something that can build along uh, on top of other systems. That's why I really like EOS. Right? And that's why I think Ethereum has been so popular is because everything is essentially built on that platform. So here's their roadmap. Like I said, they've been around for, what is this? Almost 30 plus years now, guys. Um, and they started off as a solutions provider and they spun off right around 2016 and 2017 is right when they got the uh, Unibright vision, you could call it. And Q1 is actually when they are launching the connector. So that connector is what is actually going to make things talk, right? Your SAP systems, your Oracle systems, your legacy systems, they're making this talk to blockchain, right? So these Fortune 100 companies just utilize Unibright and everyone's happy. So they're talking about market opportunity between business integration market and the blockchain market. And essentially everyone's predicting this. This isn't just Unibright, but the blockchain is the technology um, of the next five years, right? Everyone's gonna be trying to jump into blockchain. They're gonna be trying to utilize it as best as possible. And in my opinion, only a few people are gonna survive in terms of the best blockchain um, tools to utilize. So Unibright could fall into that um, platform. However, there are also a lot of uh, competitors that Unibright has to come, out, come up against. So here's their team, pretty small team. Um, he's also the founder of blockchain development. Okay, doesn't tell us a hell of a lot. Um, 
Oh, okay. So Datadash, as you guys probably know, Datadash, he's one of the biggest, or he is the biggest crypto YouTube channel. Um, he knows his crypto inside and out, and he's actually advising them. I don't know, um, not to say anything bad about him, but I don't know what uh, real value he's going to bring in terms of expertise. Um, we've got a venture capitalist who's basically just putting his money where his mouth is. We've got a guy that is uh, proficient at consulting and business process. And this is the man that we really care about. He's the Ethereum architect. So obviously they've got some blockchain people in this space. They've got some PhDs, some doctors. So pretty strong team. Um, not a big team by any means, but uh, it's good to see more contenders in this space. I, I Like I said before, guys, I really like companies that build the framework. They're setting... They're setting themselves up for success to allow other people to build on their platform. I think Unibright has a bright future. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. Please remember to subscribe. We're going to be coming out with crypto videos every single day, telling you which ones to buy and which ones to stay away from. Unibright is a top contender. Keep an eye on it. We'll talk to you guys later.